May, June 2, 2, P41. Question 10 is about astrophysics. So let's define Wien's, Wien's displacement law first. So this displacement law has something to do with the surface temperature. Okay, so uh, when we write this in symbol form, it says that lambda max is inversely proportional to 1 over t. But there are some details that you should include when you are trying to state the law. So this maximum here is maximum intensity. So there are graphs underneath here, but I can do a quick sketch. So this value, this peak, this is the graph of intensity against lambda. So this one here is lambda max. Okay, And this temperature is obviously uh, the surface temperature, but this one is also the thermodynamic temperature. This will be in Kelvin. Okay, So I think putting it all together, I will say that the wavelength of the maximum intensity of an EM radiation, an electromagnetic radiation is inversely proportional to the thermodynamic surface temperature of a star. So we have now maximum uh, intensity of electromagnetic radiation emitted. Okay, this is better. Emitted is inversely proportional to the thermodynamic temperature, or surface temperature of any object. La. This is good enough. Okay, so remember when you watch the lecture videos, we show you different, different color depending on the temperature. Okay, so to get this one mark, you should at least mention that it is the wavelength of maximum intensity. Okay, and this is maximum intensity of the EM radiation emitted from the surface. Okay, and then you should also mention that it is inversely proportional to the thermodynamic temperature. Okay, so having this two is your one mark. I'm just giving you more context. Okay, so all stars will emit electromagnetic radiation and the wavelength of the maximum intensity is the wavelength that is inversely proportional to the thermodynamic surface temperature. Okay, so the star have different colors. Anyway, here you have two stars, star A and star B, and they have slightly different lambda max. So if you read here, star A have a lambda max of 0 0.5 micrometer. Lambda max for star A. Okay, and if I look at star B, I guess if I want to guesstimate or estimate the maximum lambda it will be this one. This one looks like 0 0.65. Yes, so 0 0.65. This is lambda max for star B. Okay, next. We know that the surface temperature for star A is 5800 Kelvin. Determine the surface temperature of star B. Since they asked us to write down Wien's displacement law, obviously I'm going to use it inversely proportional to temperature. So I'm going to take lambda maximum for star A divided by lambda maximum for star B. This is equal to temperature of B over temperature of A because of the 1 over the inversely proportional. Um, A is on top on one side and then below on the other side. Okay, 1 over so when there's one over, flip, flip, see this, okay? So lambda maximum for A from here is 0 0.5 micrometer. Lambda maximum for B is 0 0.65 micrometer. 
this will be equal to the temperature of B over the temperature of A, 5800 Kelvin. So finally, I will get 5800 multiplied by 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.65. Again, writing extra step for people who need it. If you don't need it, you can just press your calculator directly. And you will find that the temperature of B is 4461 Kelvin. But this is way too many significant figures for good health. Okay, this one you can put 0 0.50, which is always better. So if I look at this, 2SF, 2SF, this 2 is 2SF, all the values are 2SF anyway. So I'm going to round this to 4500 Kelvin, okay, because this is 2SF. Okay, see this 5800, 2SF. Follow their lead, all of this is 2SF, okay. Again, if you want to double check, you can look at the grid here. One small box here to here is 2dp. Okay, you can read until 65, what? So it's 2dp. All right, anyway, write 2sf. Double check the question and then follow the least sf. You want to write 4460, also can. Up to you. All right, next part. Star B appears less bright than star A when viewed from Earth. Obviously, because the intensity is less, okay, this rate of emission is intensity, okay? So right now, suggest, use the graph, suggest with a reason, how else the physical appearance of star B compares to that of star A? So we refer to the lambda maximum. The lambda maximum for B is shorter than the lambda maximum for A. Okay, besides the fact that the peak values are different, also at the same time, the lambda maximum is different. Okay, for easy reference, the graph is behind my head. Okay, so the first thing you can see, right, star B is less bright because the rate of emission is less. So the value of the intensity of A and the intensity of B, IB is less than IA, okay? And just because you are less bright, okay, the other thing that you can think about when it comes to physical appearance is your lambda max. So the lambda max for A is 0 0.5, okay? And the lambda max for B, hey, lambda max for B is more, 0 0.65. So B is greater than A. Okay, look at the graph behind me. So if the lambda max is different, this actually changes the color, the color that you can see on your star. I mean, when you look at it, the stars. So from here, if they say how else the physical appearance of B is different compared to A, well, I will say that the maximum wavelength, so star B has a greater maximum wavelength, or you can say greater, hmm, greater wavelength where the rate of emission is maximum. Okay? And because of this, we can say star B appears to be more red. This is not red shift, uh, this is just a color difference. Okay, so you want to think about this shorter wavelength. If you think of your rainbow color, you have red, blah, 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 violet. 
Okay, so when you travel here, lambda increase. Okay, so since star B has a greater wavelength, 0 0.65, so it will appear to be more red or red. All right, remember blue flame is always hotter. So while the surface temperature of uh, A is hotter, 4800, it's because the wavelength is shorter, inversely proportional. Okay? So when they say use this graph, right, whenever you see a graph, understand that if it's a curve, the properties include what is the maximum point? So basically, A is a blue star that is very bright, bluer star. Okay? Whereas B is a more redder star that is less bright. Okay, so they are describing different things. Huh? The color is related to the wavelength that you see here in the graph, this part here. Okay, And the intensity and the brightness has to do with the peak values. So we already know that it appears less bright. So next thing we need to talk about is the color in the appearance. Longer wavelength, redder color. So to help your brain visualize, uh, here is another diagram. So the question only gave you two different stars, okay? But this one is just multiple different stars. You can see that the longer the wavelength here, the redder it is. Okay, so here is one long wavelength. And then the shorter the wavelength here, the bluer or more violet it looks like. Okay, and you can see from this curve, this curving down here, right? that the lambda max is inversely proportional to temperature. So see, the temperature is dropping linearly. Every curve is for 1000 Kelvin drop in temperature. Okay, so if I join all the lambda max, I get like a inversely proportional shape. Okay, of course, some of the light we cannot see, la, they are the infrared zone or the ultraviolet zone. But regardless, if I can see that light, it will appear to be red, redder. All right, so that's what it's what it means by the appearance of the star, because this is still well within the visible range, 650 nanometer and 500 nanometer. Still can see. All right, the lines in Figure 10.1 has been corrected for red shift. Okay, state what is meant by red shift. So red shift here is basically saying that. The apparent, the apparent wavelength is longer. Okay, so this one is basically from your Doppler, Doppler redshift. So I would say that the observed apparent wavelength, don't use frequency already because the main focus when we look at electromagnetic radiation in astrophysics is the wavelength and not the frequency. So the observed apparent wavelength is longer or greater than the known value in, I mean, known value or reference value in the lab or in the laboratory. And why is there a change in wavelength? This is due to the movements. And we know from uh, Hubble's law, okay, the Big Bang Theory, everything is running away from us. So due to the movement of stars away from the observer. Okay. So this is red shift. Two marks here, two points to mention. Number one, the observed wavelength is greater than either a known value or a reference value. Okay, reference value or known value is needed. Okay, because if you say greater, then greater compared to. So you must say that the observed frequency is greater compared to the known value. Like for example, red, this color is supposed to, I mean, this wavelength is supposed to be this, but when I measure the star, hey, the wavelength is actually greater than what I expect. Why? All right. The next one, 
This is because it is due to the movement of the star and the observer. Okay, part two. Explain how cosmologists uh, are able to determine the light from the distant star has undergone redshift. So what they're going to do is they're going to look at the spectral lines, right? So here again is a picture. So when you answer this kind of question during the exam, right? There's no Google, there's no textbook. So it's ideal that you can think of the picture, all right? So you notice that some of the somewhat invisible looking line, these kind of white, white lines, this is because your eyes cannot observe, lah, okay? But we look at the main spectral lines, which is the dark lines. So you can see that these are all red shifted. This one shift to here, shift to here. The wavelength all increase, okay? So this is red shifted the original wavelength is increased. In this case, it says here it's multiplied. So we compare spectral lines. So bring up the idea of spectral lines. I'll say that by studying and comparing the line spectrum of the electromagnetic radiation or the light I mean electromagnetic radiation is fancy name for light lah, from the distant star so you want to compare two things right what are we comparing with okay with the actual spectrum okay so comparing the line spectrum of electromagnetic radiation or light from a distant star with the line spectrum known already known so this actual uh, spectrum is when the frame is rest. We call this rest frame. So already known, or you could say uh, the line spectrum already known when observing a stationary object. Okay. So when we look at this, right, number one, when you say that we are studying or comparing the line spectrum of light, this is already one mark, okay? But what are we comparing it with? We are comparing it with the line spectrum that is already known, okay? So when observing a stationary object or when in rest frame. But rest frame sound very fancy, la. okay? So those are the two main ideas. So remember, whenever we look at distant stars, their wavelength is always a bit different than when we look at the wavelength on planet. So all of this is due to gases. Okay, so we rewatch the lecture video. The reason why we see the lines is because of the hydrogen spectral emission. Okay, so hot gas will shine through. Hot gas, the hot internal core of the star, will shine light to the cooler outside atmosphere of the star. So this is due to the gas that is inside the star. And stars are a combination of hydrogen and its isotope, helium and its isotope, and a bunch of very, very little random gas. So we know for sure definitely a lot of hydrogen one. So hydrogen on Earth look like the top color. Hydrogen that come from this distant star, everything yoink, shifted to the right. What happened? Why is the hydrogen so special in this distant star? It's not because the hydrogen there is different. It's because the star is running away from us. And because the star is running away from us, we can actually do this comparison and calculate how fast the star is running away from us. But that would be another question. And that's it for your question 10. See you.